And today's mission is to bring down the corruption that's within Kite Reviews. Yep, you see them, you read them, and you get led down a horrible path that you is dark and horrible uh, and just dangerous. And you, you might fall over or... Um, um, and there might be a nasty man or woman because uh, so yeah it's a fucking minefield as you can see and I'm here today to guide you all fucking through it yeah because I know my shit in fact I'll go as far as to say I know everything let's use Google to find out so we put in kite review and the first one that comes up is ick surf mag so here we go Fuck off. So here we go. Ozone Enduro V2 9 meter review. It starts off with a really great zoomed in photo of the kite. At a glance contains all the stuff from the Ozone website that they've copy pasted. But, there, but it goes on. As you can see the 4 is quite positive as you might expect from the 4 section. That's the against section what the fuck we have fallen in love all over again with this kite and a hard push to find anything we didn't like with this one please buy it you should buy it buy it everyone please when i first read that my bullshit detectors at that point were just going fucking nuts like I couldn't hear or see anything other than fucking alerts, yeah. So I thought, do you know what? We need to get to the bottom of this. Why Why is that so fucking positive? And why have they only written one sentence for each bit? That's bollocks as well. So I thought to myself, let's fucking do some digging and find out the who's behind this corruption. It must be the Russians. But it's not the Russians, it's... Robin and Suki. And I did some further digging on Robin and Suki. And by digging I mean clicking on their website. And you can pretty clearly see <laughs> that 514 Elemental, Robin and Suki's Kite School, have some quite strong affiliations with Ozone. And look, this is what the Kite 514 Elemental is all about. We like to give back to others Supply training for children, write bias reviews, promote women in kiting. It's nice, isn't it? So, yeah, the fact that they are blatantly selling these kites makes them not a fantastic choice to review it. Do you think there's a possibility that it might be in their interest to say it's real good if they're selling it? Do you think? I K surf don't think. They're like, they think that's fucking good, what we've done there. That's fucking good, yeah. Oh. Right, and then just when you thought Ixurf couldn't get any more lame, yeah. So every year they do awards, yeah, and they get their readers to vote, which is surprising because I don't think they would have many readers, so their little pool of judges <laughs> can't be very deep yeah it's not an ocean of judges i'd say it's more paddling pool sized but anyway they let these little people vote and obviously their readers just do not know what the fuck is up best kite surfing video of 2017 yeah look who's in first position fuck off yeah <laughs> and these are the nominations but they were nominated ages ago and it's well into 2018 now so surely these are the ones but I'm not interested enough to check unfortunately but yeah look 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 at this look at this okay it starts off with some fucking great logos then it gets into it There's the thumbnail. Who else saw the thumbnail? 
I like this bit when she's pole dancing on a tree. That's the best bit. Or the monkey. The monkey's probably the most interesting bit. Because the riding ain't interesting, that's for sure. Fuck, it is bad. I can't even... As sublime kite surfing videos go, this one takes the biscuit. Oh, fuck, it is bad. Like, who is writing this? Who wrote that? If I could find out who wrote that, that would be fucking great. Then we could go and be horrible to them. But we can't because they didn't say, damn it. But yeah, that's in the top spot. Then we'll look down some more, shall we, to see what else made it into this highly prestigious award list. I would be so gutted to be in this list. Hope I never get a Nick Surf award. Lewis, oh, he's going to be thrilled to be at 14. Absolutely beside himself. <laughs> and then, this is the best, look, look, look. Noah Font went all out on his feature-length film, The Bubble, in 17th fucking place. What the fuck, Ixerf? How out of touch can you possibly be? Yeah, it was a shit year for kite videos, but Noé Font's bubble lifted it all out of the fucking gutter. <sighs> so yeah, let... <laughs> Noé, Noé is probably so gutted with that. He's probably crying his eyes out. But don't worry, Noé, because Ix Surf Awards are fucking lame, and you don't want one anyway. The, the industry has... Ha, we doesn't even make sense it's without a doubt the biggest kite movie the industry we have ever seen the film is a real work of art with slick editing a great storyline and some impressive some impressive writing only some i think only some that's that's a good word fuck it And this is how Noe feels about being nominated for Ixurf Awards. That's his emotion, current emotion. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and here's me. Shout out to me. Now, let's get off this filthy website and go and look at our next one in the Google. Here we are. KiteFinder.com, everyone.